What is going on everybody and welcome to yet another Fun Friday video where we are going to be opening up five packs throughout Magic's history. A few new, a few old. You can see them in front of us. We've got a great selection today and I could not be more excited. Even the new packs in this one I'm actually really excited about. We got Dominaria, we got Cons of Tarkir, which is a good, good uh, fetch land pull if we can get it. We've got that Shadow Moor pack, we've got Guilds of Ravnica, and then of course we've got 10th edition, so we've got a chance at a Crucible of Worlds as well. Some really, really good packs. Let's jump right in. What should we start with? What should we start with? You know what? Let's start with Dominaria. Let, let's do this one. I really did enjoy Dominaria quite a lot. Uh, it, I think it was one of the better sets in recent years. We've had a lot of so-so sets, I will say, in recent years, and so uh, having one that really, really kind of took off and did, I think, fairly well uh, is is obviously a great thing. We got Humorid Explorer, throwing back to those Humorids back in the day, Excavation Elephant, look at that, uh, Drudge Sentinel, beautiful art, Corrosive Ooze, uh, Tragic Poet, obviously guys, sitting at the top of the list in this pack, I believe is Teferi Hero of Dominaria, just an absolute powerhouse planeswalker, uh, obviously a card we see a lot in Historic, uh, just absolutely fantastic. Kelden Raider, the Eldest Reborn is our first uncommon, featuring that saga, I love that they introduced the sagas in this set, just such cool, uh, such a cool mechanic where essentially this sits on the battlefield and gets an effect every turn until it gets three counters in this case, uh, just super super awesome. Memorial to Glory, part of that land cycle, that uncommon land cycle. Oh, and look at that. Starting off strong with Teferi Hero of Dominaria. I have no idea what the value is. It'll pop up on the screen for you guys. But my goodness, that I think is the best pull we could have asked for. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Well, we're starting off strong, guys. I love that. Uh, we do have Arvad the Cursed. Uh, a Mountain here, of course. And then a Sapperling token. Let's very, very quickly, let's take this. And let's just throw this in a little sleeve. Uh, let's, let's throw that in a little sleeve. This is actually a really, really good bull from my understanding. Uh, my goodness, look at that. Love it, love it, love it. Starting off strong, guys. Starting off real, real strong. Guys, I hope you are having a fantastic week. What should we open next? Let's go Shadow more. Uh, I hope you guys had a fantastic week. I hope that this series gives you a great way to kick off your weekend. Just some fun pack openings, no pressure, just sitting, chilling, enjoying some old school packs, some new packs, all kinds of fun stuff. The idea of this series is not to necessarily make a ton of value because if I was making value I wouldn't be doing it this way, but uh, it's to hopefully give you guys an opportunity to look at some of these old school packs that we don't normally get to see, uh, as well as some new ones mixed in, and just see what we can get. Just have a fun time together opening up these packs. I love Shadowmoor, Fairy Macabre, not a bad little card as well. Uh, Curse of Chains. I love how many hybrid cards were in this set. Uh, obviously a big theme of the set, uh, and, and really the entire block, uh, and so it was really, really fun to, to see what you get. Safe Right Quest here, uh, Aphotic Whispers. Uh, oh, I hate the art on this card. I've seen this card a lot. I own this card, but it's just such a... Ugh, it's so gross. I hate it. It looks like a larva. Uh, Memory Sluice. I love this card. Used to play with that in my mill deck. Uh, first uncommon is Fire Spout. Uh, next we got Lockjaw Snapper, part of that Scarecrow cycle, which was actually a really cool little uh, little cycle that we had there. Uh, Roughshod Mentor, very cool art. And then our rare is Spawn Rife. Don't think this is worth too much, but again, the value will pop up if it's above like a dollar. Uh, two two for two and a green with Trample. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, put a token in play that is a copy of Spawn Rife. Certainly a cool card for sure, but seems to be outpowered pretty easily. And then we've got that beautiful hybrid Elf Warrior token as well. Look at that, guys. Man, uh, loving, loving, loving these packs so far. Let's, let's open Guilds. Let's open Guilds next. I know Guilds is a bit of an unexciting set for a lot of you. Uh, but I'll be honest, I kind of liked Guilds of Ravnica. Um, I've opened a good bit of it, so a lot of these cards will probably be up for sale in our TCG player store after the fact, but um, I really liked this set. I thought they did a pretty good job of uh, capturing that initial essence that we got in OG Ravnica way, way back in the day. Uh, City of Guilds, such a fantastic set. Um, certainly not perfect, I think it definitely had its issues and card quality, as always, has been an issue, but 
Uh, it's still a really cool set. I think it's a really, really cool set. Veiled Shade. Uh, ooh, Undergrowth was a very, very fun mechanic as well for the Golgaris here. Deadweight, fantastic little removal spell, but worked great. Deadly Visit. Oh, love it. Uh, our first uncommon, Conclave Cavalier. Uh, part of the cycle where we essentially had two, uh, basically two color kind of um, representations of the guild, this obviously being Selesnia. There was obviously one for each one, and they were all very, very good in draft. Uh, and I think a couple of them might have snuck their way into Constructed as well. Uh, Electrostatic Field, fantastic little is it card, being able to throw out a little bit of extra damage with those instants and sorceries, super, super fun. And again, amazing artwork, look at that. Silent Dart, not a great card to be honest, but it is a little bit of a removal spell that you saw a lot in uh, draft or sealed where people could just kind of throw this into whatever deck they needed and it just provided that uh, flexible removal spell. Not super powerful, a lot of mana invested in it, but still pretty good. And then our rare, ooh hoo hoo. Well, pardon me, we got Niv-Mizzet. Uh, look at this, guys. We are getting some pretty awesome pulls. I don't know, again, the value of Niv-Mizzet, but a 5-5 five, five for 6 cannot be countered flying. Uh, and whenever you draw a card, it deals 1 damage to any target. And whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, you draw a card. So there were quite a number of combos with this where you could really just kind of mow somebody down with a bunch of, like, ping damage. Uh, super, super awesome. Very beautiful card as well. <laughs> Oh, and then of course the Boros Guildgate. We did get a Guildgate, I believe, in every pack here. Uh, so very, very fun to see that. And then we've got the Elf Knight token as well. Look at that, guys. Man, we're, we're not doing too bad here, guys. We got some pretty good stuff. All right. I think it's time that we shoot for a fetch land here, guys. Uh, Cons of Tark Tar here. A big, big three color set. Uh, obviously focused heavily on dragons and things like that. And just some really, really nice tribal features we got. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but do you see there's this crease line down the middle that I don't like very much. Hopefully that doesn't transcend the entire pack, but we will see. Uh, but a lot of really, really, is it on this card? I don't see it. A lot of really, really awesome cards in this set. Uh, a lot of engine cards in this set. And then of course those fetch lands, which is really what we're on the hunt for, if we're going to be honest. And hey, given the luck we've had so far, I'm not going to, I'm not going to count it out. Singing Bell Strike, uh, Debilitating Injury. Very nice. Uh, Rugged Highlands, part of that uh, life gain uh, cycle of lands. Very, very cool. Uh, Abomination of Gadol. Uh, very, very cool. Representing the Sultai clan with that black, green, and blue. And it featured Morph. I forgot, we did get Morph back in this set, which was a very, very fun mechanic. If you didn't play with Morph, really, really awesome. You get to play stuff face down. Ooh, Treasure Cruise. Delve, another mechanic we got to bring back. This card broken absolutely broken we saw it uh had to be banned i believe in popper uh just because it was so so good it was easy enough to delve this out for three cards for basically one uh blue absolutely amazing very very good card uh obviously seven's a lot to delve but you can really build around that uh our first uncommon roar of challenge look at that beautiful art i love the landscapes here even the perspective of having it kind of on a tilted angle beautiful <laughs> Uh, Death Frenzy, another beautiful card. I love the colors here in the background. Look at that teal kind of color. Just absolutely beautiful. Raiders Spoils here, an enchantment for three and a black. Not bad. Not bad. And then our rare, ooh, is not bad. Dig through time. Guys, featuring that delve mechanic again, six and two blue uh, for an instant. Again, you can delve out cards from your graveyard to help pay for this, but look at the top seven cards of your deck. Put two of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Uh, I'm sure this has some value. Like I said, it will pop up on the screen, but what a fantastic pull. Uh, may not be a fetch land, but very, very happy with this. Absolutely love, love, love dig through time. And again, art is phenomenal. Uh, beautiful planes. And then of course our token, which is a warrior token. Not bad, guys. I am I am genuinely amazed. These packs are not bad. Uh, I'm enjoying them quite a bit. And we get to finish off strong with a 10th edition core set. This came out, what was the year on this? Uh, just out of curiosity, because I, I don't actually know. Let's see if we can get this opened here. Uh, ooh. I don't know. Oh, 2007. 2007 this was released. My goodness, that is awesome. Uh, all right, let's jump into this. Like I said, Crucible of Worlds is in this set, uh, along with a number of other decent cards, but 
it is generally a corset and again we've got like a little bit of a crease line i don't know yeah there you go you can kind of see it a uh, little bit of a crease line there but a uh, beautiful beautiful set absolutely love it kicking it off with cloud elemental we've got a rock badger uh with mountain walk Ooh, i forgot about the walks the the mechanics there uh that was a really really cool mechanic in my opinion essence drain root walla very very cool card very good in draft sky hunter prowler not a bad little flyer uh, fear, very interesting mechanic, became its own mechanic obviously later on. Uh, cancel, actually I'm sure by this time it was a mechanic. Uh, classic counter spell. Fire breathing, another mechanic of its own essentially. Uh, Suntail hawk, beautiful flyer. Treetop bracers, I love the color in this artwork. Those greens just really, really pop. Absolutely beautiful. Man. Ooh, not a bad pickup. So as an uncommon goes, Sylvan Scrying is not a bad one. Again, if value is there, we'll pop it up on the screen if it's over a dollar. But Sylvan Scrying is a very good card. Very happy to pull that. And I love this artwork above most of the others. We did get a few reprints of this, but again, the colors in this in this art, I think, is just more phenomenal than, than any of the others. Composite Golem. Uh, I feel like this was a downshifted card. I feel like that might have been a rare at some point, but maybe not. Uh, Hunted Wampus. <laughs> I always love this card. I always thought it was really funny. I used to get this in like 8th edition starter sets, I believe. Uh, and it was just such a silly card, but I, I love it. It's a very fun one. Uh, and then our rare is Quirion Dryad. So very interesting card. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1 and a green. Whenever you play a white, blue, black, or red spell, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Quirion Dryad. Really interesting because this card really wants you to play with a lot of other colors, obviously. Uh, and being able to kind of ramp yourself into all those cards is really the idea, I think. Uh, but an absolutely beautiful card. Not sure it's worth that much, but very, very cool pull. Uh, and again, just an awesome, awesome card uh, from an awesome set. Uh, Mountain here, beautiful. And then we have got, oh, look at that, our little two card combos. Well, I think the pick of the day has to be Teferi, right? Like Teferi is just so good. Uh, absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal card. I do only have one or two of these in my collection, so I'm gonna be holding on to this one. A lot of these other cards, if you saw anything that you would like, please leave a comment down below. A lot of them we will be putting up in our TCG player store if we have already got that playset of them, but uh, this, is, this is going straight in the binder, people. We love, love, love Teferi Hero of Dominaria. Just a fantastic card. Guys, I hope you had a fantastic time on today's fun Friday. I hope it got your weekend off to a fantastic start. Have a great day, guys. Have a great weekend and make sure to stay tuned for next week's fun friday we've got much more stuff to open in fact let's go ahead and uh we'll we'll spoil one pack for you guys we have got dissension coming up next absolutely beautiful pack wonderful set uh cannot wait to open this one up so guys thank you so much have a fun friday